I decided to treat myself to some lunch to make myself feel better. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. Are you going to eat to feel better? Like, girl, get yourself together. because baby I'm gonna get my hair together next week I'm gonna do a little protective style but nonetheless rocking my kingdom builder hoodie today your girl has some appointments I have to go to the dentist and orthodontist orthodontist can't talk and then I also have to take sincere to the dentist y'all we just got a lot of appointments and things to do today so your girl's up moving and grooving just finished my bible study time and about to get the kids up so i wanted to start off the vlog this morning and just say good morning and i hope that you guys are blessed and well hope that you all are just well rested and having a great productive and peaceful week okay because it's been a good week i'm very grateful and thankful for just the time that i have with my babies and being able to create experiences and teach them family values so I'm excited about today, even though it's going to be, you know, a lot of ripping and running, but it should be a good day. So let's get into it. Let me show y'all my whole fit. It ain't nothing too major, but let me show y'all. This is the fit of the day. See my Kingdom Builder hoodie. I told y'all just a little slick back ponytail or whatever. Then I got on my Nike leggings, some black socks. <laughs> uh, we don't wear shoes in the house, so I don't have those on yet, but yeah. Fresh face, you see it. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. You need a munchkin bud. Hey, girl. Uh, look at you. Where are you going? Where you going, mama? Look at you, girl. Come on, mama, girl. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Woo! Tizzy gonna take your hair down today, okay? Okay, big boy? And we'll rebraid it next week. Okay? Oh, dog. What's up, Ma? <laughs> yes, Arthur. Yeah, girl. Come over here. They can see you. What's up, Serenity Girl? You want to do that? <laughs> she want to open the blinds. I already opened it, Mommy. I should have let you do it. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you sleep, girly? Uh, uh. You slept good? Huh? <laughs> it's open already, Mommy. I'm sorry. I'll let you do it next time, okay? Uh, why, why are you going to touch the people like that? This. This. That's a lens. You can't touch it. They can't see you. What's up, my guy? You slept good? Yes. You still tired? <laughs> what? You looking at my hair? Don't do that, bro. What's wrong with you? you got a nice little sleep, man. You trying to mess me up. Good morning, beautiful people. Buddy. Whoa, Dragon Brown! 
<laughs> We're vlogging today. Bobby. Hmm? Serenity. Serenity. We don't hit, mommy. No hitting. Okay? Control your hands. So, yes, you guys, we are vlogging today. I already told them what's on the agenda. We got a lot of appointments going on. Oh, good. Talker effect. No, we don't have soccer. Huh. Where are we going? I got a good Good, All right, let's get y'all dressed and brush y'all teeth. Because y'all got dragon breath. Peace out. Peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, Hit that post notification bell. I gotta go to post notification. What's up, y'all? What's up? Okay, we need to talk because, baby. Ah! Y'all, my appointments did not go, like, as planned as I thought they would. But this right here is just a testimony of that you can make plans, but I swear God has to find a say so. <laughs> or things that you do may interrupt your plans okay so let me just talk about it so y'all had a dentist appointment today and an orthodontist appointment as well so i was going to my dentist for my regular six month cleaning because baby you know to gotta take care of these teeth and then i was going to the orthodontist to get my attachments off my top teeth and get my molding for my retainers well homegirl went to the dentist and y'all i have i had a feel on my top left um whatever that's called up there i had a feel there well the feel i guess started to like i guess get old over time and last time when i was supposed to get x-rays i was pregnant so i couldn't get x-rays so this time i got x-rays and they saw that it was something like potentially i got like um some stuff got in there so i got like a cavity y'all I ain't never had no cavity, bruh. <laughs> I'm just so... Uh. Let me get myself together. Okay. So, yeah. They saw something when they did the x-ray today. And now I have to go back to the dentist, y'all, in about two weeks to... So they can see if they can just like fill it or if I got to get a freaking root canal. I never had to do no root canal, no nothing major to my teeth for real. So that really threw me off and ugh, it just shook me up a little bit. But I'm grateful that I still have beautiful teeth and that it's nothing too major. Like, I don't know. It just disrupted the flow of what I had going on today and since I do have to go back to the dentist in two weeks to do that I wasn't able to do my molding for my retainers uh, with my Invisalign um, today at the ortho so I have to wait to after I do after they see what's going on up there to do whatever and then after that I'll be able to go and do my molding and get the attachments off my top teeth so uh, I was a little sad y'all but it's okay um and then on top of that, I don't know if I shared this in my last... No, I don't think I ever told y'all because I didn't. But nonetheless, like, y'all, I don't have insurance for, like, dental insurance. So, I have to pay out of pocket, okay? So, this procedure that they're talking about, like, if I have to do a root canal on the crown, it's going to be, like, $3,000. And it was just, like, an unexpected expense that, like... I wasn't expecting, obviously. That's why it's unexpected. <laughs> but nonetheless, I'm just grateful to God that he provides and that I'm not going to have to worry about anything like it's going to be taken care of. But like, ugh. 
oh, I ain't never had to do nothing like this before. And it's just like, uh, something new. But anyways, I decided to treat myself to some lunch to make myself feel better. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible. Are you going to eat to feel better? Like, girl, get yourself together. But nonetheless, y'all, I've been wanting me some fried rice. So... I got me some fried rice and the spring rolls. <laughs> because, y'all, I love, love, love me a good uh, spring roll, vegetable roll, any kind of roll. I love it. So, let me show y'all what it's looking like. Because I'm about to get a little bite, baby. <gasps> okay, bye. All right, you know what? I need to start trying to do too much. Because how I just dropped my food? But anyways, let me show you guys. So, here's the spring rolls. And then I got, um, I was just going to get a shrimp fried rice, but I ended up getting an actual whole lunch plate. And I got Mongolian chicken and fried rice, which now I kind of don't want. <laughs> but it's okay. Got a little fortune cookie. Because why not? It says, Woo! You are about to begin a prosperous business venture. Okay, baby. I received it in the name of Jesus. Hmm. Um, let's just see what this is talking about. Is this Mongolian chicken? Because why do I think Mongolian chicken was something different? Mm. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the food that we're about to receive. For the nourish our body in Christ, and we pray. Amen. This is good, but I think I ordered the wrong chicken. Because I don't know why I thought this was going to be a different chicken. But this is it. This is it. <laughs> I don't know what I thought I was about to eat. Ew. This rice is not like what I wanted. I should have just. That's why you gotta just go with what you first wanted. I literally was craving shrimp fried rice. And I should have got shrimp fried rice. I went with this fried rice and Mongolian chicken. And. It's alright. It's just not really. Mm -hmm. I thought it was going to be a little bit different, to be honest. Now, I don't even really eat Chinese food. I literally eat this probably like once a year. So, I think I was supposed to get, maybe it's General South Chicken. I don't know. I should have called my mama. <laughs> because it's something that she get. Like I said, I literally get this like once a year. So, I didn't really know what to get. So, nonetheless, got this. And... See, this is the Mongolian chicken I thought I was going to get. That's what I was craving. That's what I wanted right there. Not this chicken. Should I like... I'm still here, y'all. I feel like I should go in there and be like... <laughs> I don't want to look crazy. But I want to know what sauce is that...
because it's just not giving the sauce that I really wanted. a little annoying and the, the rice is just so plain aggravating is it my fault that I Now what I get, huh? Okay, y'all. So what I normally get is braised chicken wings, which I should have got because this is not it. Like, I really don't want this because this ain't what I want. <laughs> Why did I get this? Y'all, this is not what I really wanted. Ugh. This is not it. I guess I'm gonna just eat it. So I guess it's kind of my fault. Trying to do something new, trying to do something different. Different is good, new is good, whatever. I'm gonna just have to eat these vegetables with it, give it some flavor because it just tastes so plain. Like it's not giving me the flavor that I wanted. This is the exact reason why I don't try new stuff because I like what I like. And. Like, new stuff from places that ain't really, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say, y'all. But I'm usually, like, I get the same thing everywhere I go, unless I'm, like, in a different country or different state. I want to try new stuff, but, mm -mm. The spring grows good. I wonder what sauce this is. Ew, no, it smells like honey mustard. I don't like that. But y'all don't even really eat out. So when I eat out, I be wanting to eat out like good food. Because if you're going to eat out, why not go with beer? You know what I mean? Whatever. It just is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. I eat my food. So just to the sermon. Pastor Keon went in. Got about 10 more minutes to myself. So I'm going to catch y'all later before I go get the kids. Thank you, Hallelujah. Jesus! Yes! Yes! All right, so we going to some stores. Come on, buddy. Baba Here. Hey. Mm -hmm. Where are we going? Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree. Yeah, I you always want to get something. Um, Look at my gentleman. Thank you, buddy. Thank you for getting that door for mommy. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Okay. What do you see? Oh, oh Moana. Mm. Cool. Stickers. We don't need any more stickers. Oh, and Kanto stickers. So they're cute. But we don't need any stickers right now. So let's see. Show the people what you got so far. What's that? Oh, you got the jump rope? Mommy got a jump rope too. Got me a yellow one. Got me some pins. What you got, Mama? I got a red. You got bubbles? I got red. Show them your bubbles, mommy. Oh, no. Oh, we got pink. Nice. Okay, let's check and see if they have a step stool in here. All right, we still ain't got none of the things that we said we came here for, so let's go to that. They got pasta. Yeah, they do. But what did we say we came here for? What did mommy tell you to remind me to get? Um. You remember? <laughs> but what did I say to remind me to get from the store? Um, get a toy. No, toys was not on the list. You forgot? I said two broomsticks two broom, two broom. and the things for the Kool-Aid challenge. Kool so we got to go find it. 
Okay, so we need to find the things for a Kool-Aid challenge. So, what can we use? How could we do these? We could do these. These are super big. We don't need to do that many. I mean, that big. Well, what's this one? This one is not so big. And it got to come with a twist top. And it's two of these? Oh, yeah, we might do this one. Yeah. Hey, what's up, baby people? Where are you, baby sis? Here, and we got come. I got me a toy. And then I got um, the red uh, unicorn um, headphones. And I got a basket. And bubbles. And a and a dirt trail for mommy. What's that going to be for? Uh, for the challenge. It's for the Kool-Aid challenge. And then I got a pen for mommy. Yeah, I like it. Uh, the oil for me. Mmm, Spider-Man. Yeah. 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 Bye. Bye, Major Collins. Bye. 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 What you got, Mama? Okay, what did you get from the store? Here, show them your headphones. You got headphones? Oh. <laughs> you <laughs> Say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, Charlie. Say love you. Love you. Mwah. Mwah. Do it, Mama. Love. Good job. I don't want to open my door. Say bye bye. Oh, and you guys, I did get a package while we were gone, so let me just show what I got real quick. I actually have been waiting on this because I pre-ordered it when she first released it, which I think was like last month, maybe. Um, so, tap, tap the brown. She made a book another book because she already has a book that I already read on Audible but this one is Tabitha Brown, Seen, Love, and Hurt It's a Guided Journal for Feeding the Soul so I'm excited to get into it of course she started off the right way baby with her little I love it it says in her beloved book Feeding the Soul because it's my business Tabitha Brown helps us feel seen, loved, and heard sharing the knowledge she has in her own so I'm excited. Y'all know I love journals. So I'm excited to get started with it and journal daily because that's what I do. I have so many activities and things to do. I love it. This is so cute. Yeah. Oh, I love it. So, so excited about it. So I'll keep you guys posted and give you a little update like as I work through my journal and give y'all like a real review or whatever. But... Super excited about it. I already know it's going to be good because it's Tabitha Brown, okay? <laughs> but yes, y'all, we are home. We got to take baths and get to bed because I'm tired. They tired. It's a whole lot going on. And yeah, we will see y'all tomorrow. We love you guys so much. Good night.